Everyone loves bacon, but nobody loves grease fires. Here's why you should never cook bacon in your air fryer. Air fryers are known for being somewhat miraculous kitchen appliances. No matter what you make, it seems to always come out better in an air fryer. As it turns out, however, this doesn't quite apply to everything. Obviously, there are plenty of foods that you shouldn't stick in that tray, such as leafy greens. Ron, would you like some salad? <laughs> Since I am not a rabbit, no, I do not. But bacon and air fryers sound like a match made in gastronomic heaven, right? Well, not exactly. At first, cooking bacon in your air fryer might seem like a great idea. Air fryers operate like a mini convection oven, circulating hot air around your food to cook it. While bacon doesn't contain batter, it is dripping in grease, which won't always agree with your air fryer. When Food Network cooked some bacon in a single layer in an air fryer, the oil started pooling in the bottom and burning, causing white smoke to pour out of the appliance. Cooking Light reports almost exactly the same result when air frying bacon, white smoke, a drawer overflowing with grease, and limp bacon. It seems that if you want a serving of bacon or two, it's probably best to just skip the air fryer and choose another cooking method altogether. However, if you're determined to try cooking bacon in your air fryer, you'll need to do something about all that dripping grease, or things will soon get dangerous. What have you done to it? You said you didn't like all the grease from fried bacon, so I boiled it. Some bloggers recommend adding water to the tray below the basket to prevent the grease from burning and smoking. Keep in mind that while this may lessen the smoke, it's also not the safest countermeasure since mixing hot oil and water can be incredibly dangerous. If that comes in contact with your burner flame, you could have a serious fire on your hands. You can also try working in small batches and draining the grease between each one. Food Network referred to a method from Ben Mims, the author of Air Fry Every Day, which consists of cooking just two strips of bacon at a time in an air fryer. But even then, you still might see some smoke. This will also slow the process down, and draining hot oil can also be a safety hazard. So, with the air fryer out of the running, you may feel like you've been resigned to grease splatters and smoke alarms going off while you fry up some bacon in a pan on your stovetop. But don't lose heart. There is one other method that can get you great results without any of the fuss. Ina Garten's preferred method for cooking bacon requires nothing more than a cookie sheet and a good old-fashioned oven. This method is so effective because you can easily cook enough bacon for a crowd, making it a must when you're hosting brunch. Just preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and lay 8 to 10 slices of bacon on your baking sheet. Then pop the tray in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes, and there you have it. Gorgeous, piping hot bacon without all the fuss. And if you're looking for a way to make this hack even better, take a note from a day in the kitchen and line the sheet with aluminum foil. That way, when the grease has cooled, you can just peel the foil off and place it directly in the trash, making for far less cleanup. Finally, even though you're cooking the bacon in the oven, be sure to have your stove fan on while the bacon is in the oven to prevent smoke buildup. And while you shouldn't use the air fryer for your bacon needs, you could always prepare something else, such as a simple and delicious air fryer frittata. That at least will have no trouble bringing the brunch crowd to the yard. I like waking up to the smell of bacon. Sue me.